Foot pressure. Everybody's talking about it, but do you know how to do it? Well, let me show you how. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, I'm talking about foot pressure. Foot pressure is one of the most universally used term, shall we say, within the golf industry at the moment. And certainly when you're watching the golf coverage, everyone's talking about how they're using the ground. I think it's really difficult for golfers to appreciate how to use the ground when you're swinging a golf club. And to what end are we using the ground? What purpose? Everybody talks about, oh, look at the speed that he can create. He's using the ground so well. But I'm yet to see anyone truly show and explain how you use the ground in a way that your club golfer can actually tap into. Today, I hope to give that to you because it's really important to me that you start to understand how the form and function of this golf swing works from the waist down because I believe that golfers don't use the waist down pretty effectively and therefore they get compromised from the waist up. And what ends up happening is that you work on the waist up, but a lot of the errors come from the waist down. I've got a little step box here. It's only about eight, eight inches high. And what I want you to understand is that this really gives us an opportunity to create some downward force that's forced upon you, and you'll see in a minute when I do the drill, that's forced upon you that will then start to create a reaction. So, in old money, we think about swinging the golf club. Let me just move that out of the way. Swinging the golf club, and if you saw my swing, uh, my video yesterday on rotation, it will really give you insight into how we use the leg length. The leg length is a rotator of the, of the pelvis. And that leg length will then also start to create some energy into the floor. So as we swing back, I move off to the right here and I load my right side. And what's happening is I'm really limited in my rotation. But what I would be seeing is if I was standing on a pressure mat, and I've done this on my leg myth video, when we start to move to the right, what happens is the center of pressure moves to my right foot. And so everyone would then go, oh, well, okay, you're creating force into the ground. The unfortunate thing with that is that my body's moved sideways and then I can therefore push left. As you'll see in the video from down the line there, as I'm doing that, there's really not that much that's going on in terms of rotation. And a good example of this is Charlie Hull's golf swing. You look at Charlie Hull in her backswing, her knees are almost perfectly in line with each other. She has an incredible amount of separation with her upper body and lower body, and her arm plane is really steep. She's always working on trying to get her arms flatter, but her arms being flatter comes from the fact that her pelvis doesn't rotate as much as we'd like to see it. So you see it in the best players in the world, you see them move in a certain way, and she would be creating load in her right foot. But because she's got incredible separation value, you'd go, well, there you go, that's what we should be doing. But let me tell you, if you're a 40-year-old individual, which most of us are who play this game, and even if you're young, to get that amount of separation in your aging years is incredibly difficult. And so therefore, golf swings invariably become shorter. So the, the leg length, as I mentioned in my video yesterday, really creates rotation. But now I'm trying to inspire some energy into the floor that will then start to make you create some vertical force, some force coming up out the ground. And so what I want you to do, if you can get one of these step boxes or, or just pile up some books, you know, tape them together, get them on the floor, step on them. And then what I want us to try to do or not try to do, what you will do, is make some golf swings, and all you're gonna do is, you're gonna make a backswing, and as you make a backswing, you're gonna step left. 
And what will start to happen is your right foot will push you towards the target. So the minute the golf club starts moving, my right foot would push off. And you can see in the transition phase from pushing to the left, my left foot would not be on the floor. So therefore, the pressure mat, if I was standing on it, the pressure mat would not have any pressure and force on the left foot. All of the force and the energy would go up in the right foot. And so when you think about where people have, th uh, where have, people have conceived to, that, that we load the right foot, we can load the right foot moving right, and I can load the right foot by pushing left. And the pushing left creates a reaction into the left foot. And so when we start to step down the box and we load the left foot, now I've got a downward motion. I create down into my left foot. And what this has done, because my right leg's got longer, if you saw my video yesterday, and the pressure has moved into my left foot, look how my hips have really opened themselves up to you compared to stepping left and loading my right foot. Look how my, my hips have stayed very shut. So I step left and load into my left foot. And then what I want to do is as I step left and I then start to feel the pressure into the left foot, I'm gonna pull the golf club and now express force and leg length upwards. And as I do that, what starts to happen is I create some open hip action because as I push up and pull the golf club, now all of a sudden my hip opens because my leg length increases. It pushes my hip back and I then start to accelerate my top half through. I'm simply loading my left foot, and as I squat and load, I then push back up. And as I push back up, I create an open body. I'm not pushing vertically up, I'm always pushing away from the target. People will appreciate, or will, should I say, think that if I was pushing away from the target, I'd sit back on my right leg. The reality is, if I'm pulling the golf club towards the target, it will make my right side accelerate forwards. And so therefore, my top half will move towards the target. I've now got some golf balls in front of me. This is where it could get a little bit spicy. But we're going to show you how this really allows you to start to understand that just because I'm stepping left and I'm pushing back, it doesn't mean that I would actually create my body falling back. Five and a half down, path two degrees across, well, that's not too bad. Face to path, negative. I swing back, I step left. As I step left, I now pull and I push up. I swing back, I push left, I pull the club, and I pull up, push up. So now all of a sudden, my body is working very differently from the waist down. I now move this away, and I now create a drill where I set up to the golf ball, I step to the right, now I make a backswing. As I make a backswing, I'm gonna to step to the left. I've now got load in my left foot. I can now pull the golf club and push up. A bit to the right, that one. Set up to the golf ball. Pull my left foot across. I make a backswing. I push to the left and I try to replace my left foot back into the spot that it was, and I push with my left foot. So you think about where the energy is being transferred across, there is absolutely 
no sense that I am loading right and loading left. I mean, it's just such a hideous sensation. But I saw, well, I've seen numerous videos doing this drill and uh, it's faulty in my eyes, only in my opinion. But hopefully that video on the step box drill really start to open you up to how you're going to use your body from the waist down to encourage some pressure in the floor that will start to make a reaction. Remember the right foot pushes you down the box. So if you're standing on a pressure mat, if you're pushing yourself down the box, the, the pressure mat would say your right foot is creating the force. You're creating the force to push you left. Then as soon as your left foot strikes the ground, the pressure mat would say you've got pressure in your left foot and that would keep on increasing all the time you're pushing up as you're pulling on the golf club. I think you'll find that's good golf coaching. If you've liked it, do hit the like, do share and subscribe. I'm gonna make you play the best golf of your life, my friends. I'll see you next time. Thank you.